Welcome to today's tiny tip. Today I'm going to show you something that has a big impact. I'm going to show you something that just became generally available in the March 2023 release. Now you're probably wondering why I'm in PowerPoint and it has to do with PowerPoint. I'm a big advocate of people telling their story in PowerPoint. I work with a lot of people who use financial data and I love the way Microsoft is interacting with PowerPoint now for the financial people to use Power BI in PowerPoint because they're familiar with the user interface of Power, uh, PowerPoint and to present financial data to a board of directors, for example, or at an executive meeting. So I just have this one generic slide here. I'm gonna right mouse click and add another new slide. And I'm gonna change this slide to a blank layout. All right, so I have this blank slide and we'll just close up the designer right there. We're gonna add in an add-in for Power BI to work inside of PowerPoint. So in PowerPoint, I'm gonna to go to the Insert tab and then you're gonna see this add-in area. And you have to make sure that you're logged into PowerPoint using the same user account that you use for your Power BI because they both used Azure Active Directory for credentials. And then that way you'll know you'll have the right, uh, correct rights. You do have to have a Power BI license to make this work and you do have to have a PowerPoint license to make it work, and they need to be the same. So what we're gonna do first to get the add-in is you'll click on Get Add-in, and then do a search for Power BI. Now there are a lot of things that work with Power BI out there, and there's even one called Power BI Titles, Tiles, but we wanna use the one called Microsoft Power BI, and this is the one that you'll wanna add, and you just simply click on Add. Now, it's free of charge. Once you add it, then it's now part of your PowerPoint install. So from the Insert tab, you'd go to My Add-ins, and there it is, and we'll just simply add it to the page. And that's all we have to do. Now I'm gonna be doing two different examples here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this blank slide with that add-in right there. So I'll just come down to Duplicate Slide. That'll just save me from having to install it because you have to insert my add-in each time. Okay, so let's see how this works. You could see it's asking me for a URL. Now I mentioned you have to be logged in using the same login as your Power BI. So here I am on my Power BI report and perhaps I wanna have this whole page appear inside of my PowerPoint. I could either come up to the URL at the top and do a control C, or I could come to share and copy a link right there. You also noticed under share, I could export this directly, but I already have a Power BI report set up. So now I'm gonna come back to this page and just paste in that URL and insert. And now I'm gonna be able to see that whole page. Now I might want to make it take up more of the page, maybe not the whole page, just almost the whole page. So now I can actually use this. So here I have all kinds of information available to me and I can interact and it creates that same interaction, interactive experience. I can open up the filters pane and if there's any place I could put in a filter, um, I don't think I have any on here, but if I've added any filters that could be used on the report, I can use those. And this little part right here, the show hide pane, if I want to save this as a static image for my report, I could do that. And notice I could do some other things here as well. I'm going to close that up. I can come down here and clear data and get to learn. I could get data insights and refresh and filter again. So what I'm gonna do is now come to this one because I'm gonna to come to another page here. I'm gonna take this visual and I'm gonna say, okay, I want this visual to appear. So I'm gonna come in and 
click on this ellipsis and do a share again. And once again, I have the option for PowerPoint and the link selection. And I do want to mention you have to do this from the workspace. You can't do it from an app itself. So I'm going to choose link to selection and copy that. And now I'm going to come in here and paste that in. And I have my app. And once again, I can open it up and drill in just the way I would if I was working in the Power BI service. And I could also drill down. I get the same drill down, drill up options. All right. If I click on the ellipsis here, I can choose to uh, show the data as a table, which it's already a matrix, so don't need to do that. Or I could get insights. And one of the things I found is a lot of times when you're dealing with one particular visual, it doesn't give you room for a lot of insights. So what I'm going to do here is come up and delete that whole visual and re-add that visual in again. And this time I'm going to come in and get the whole page. So I'm going to choose to share this again, get the link, come back into my PowerPoint, paste that link in, and now I have my whole report listed here. So now I'm going to come down to the bottom and choose Data Insights. And now it's giving me Data Insights about the whole slide. And I could just simply paste it to my slide. So what I'm going to do is move this up here and make it a little bit smaller. And then this one I'm going to move down and then put some spaces in between and now I have some really great talking points and I still have my interactivity now I pasted this in this text in this insights so it's a static text field I still have my capability of looking at my reports here I think this is absolutely astounding I love using PowerPoint as my report delivery system I hope this helps